when I made that product, the goal was to go in to communicate with the body through a positive and negative charge through cages to basically rip things apart that shouldn't be in there and safely have them leave the body through either urine or excretion or saliva, sweat, tears, all that stuff. You know, my goal was to have it safely go out of the body and what needed to stay in the body to help itself heal. So that was the mechanism of action. But I would really say my biggest thing that I do, especially with some products, is to source them from certain places, to tell the manufacturers how they need to make the products or to go in the lab and create them myself. Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Robin from Consistent Life Balance. Awesome that you're here. Today we have a very special topic here on the show because I recently had a great interview with a special person. And as you know, I'm really deep into the topics of detoxification, meaning eradicating toxins out of the body, cleansing the body on a deep level, allowing the self healing mechanism to go fully and also the topics of elimination of causes. These are very interesting things. I always talk here on this channel. And today we talk about the root brands and the root products and how they can support us on our healing and our health journey. And for that reason, I have the spe special guest here, which you will directly see. And I will um, ask her some critical questions also and I, I think it will be interesting for you to get a, an overview about this topic. But without further ado, let's get into the interview. Okay, let's jump into English. I'm really excited for the interview today. Today we have here the CEO and formulator of Root. And I just read um, a little bit about her. She's channeled her passion as a visionary in health and wellness into creating multiple provisional patients and proprietary formulas. Her focus is on developing natural products from a holistic approach to curing the causes of disease through detoxification of the body and the environment. Her mission is to love, empower and help others to be the best they can be through detoxification, education on health and wellness. So it's an honor for me to introduce Dr. Christina Ram. Great to have you here. Thank you. And I brought um, my partner um, that works at Root with me, Ted Baker. Uh, he's an executive, but I wanted to tell you from, from me, thank you so much, Robin, for having me on the show. I love what you stand for, and I think that you do amazing things, and I look forward to this interview. Great. Um, it wasn't very easy to get an appointment with you because you're so busy and all over the place. <laughs> but now That's, we my finally... <laughs> That's my fault. <laughs> but now we got it and I'm really happy for the interview. So let's dive directly into it. My first question would be, um, so today we talk about all the root products. We will talk about the brand, the company. We will talk about a little bit about the detoxification, the gut health, about how we can help ourselves with certain products which um, support us on our healing and our um, health journey. And I would like to directly um, start with the first question is, um, so what was your intention starting with fruit and what was it, um, to create these products? Well, my intention uh, was, goes back years ago, uh, working in the pharmaceutical biotech industry. I saw so many products that I worked on for when people got sick or that we would do to inject into people so hopefully they wouldn't get sick. And through that, uh, because I had four children, because I had cancer and because I um, was around so many people that I loved, I, I kept going back to why are we creating things constantly uh, to give people that are like shots and stuff where they hopefully won't get sick or why are we creating things for when they do get sick that have so many side effects. So I, I really wanted to create a line of products to keep people well and healthy and to support their bodies and to create this barrier so that when there were viruses, bacteria, parasites, and fungus um, or heavy metals in the environment, they couldn't, I wanted to create a line that could, so it couldn't get in the body, right? Into the mm -hmm. city that's inside your yourself. Um, and I also wanted to create a line that would make people better, stronger, healthier, and 
um, I really wanted to help reverse the, the aging process because if you can help reverse the aging process or stop the progression of aging, you help people stay healthier. And another thing I wanted to do was to protect the immune system and the DNA so that if different things happened in our world, um, that you could protect the genetics of a person instead of transcribing those genetics and changing what is happening to people. Because I saw in the pharmaceutical industry that there were uh, things being given to people that could actually alter, you know, the DNA and the genetics. So I really wanted to preserve what what God gave us. And that's what I'll say, our, our greatness, our health. And so the thought process behind this happened years ago. I wrote patents, actually, um, that have now been approved. I'm the inventor that that state that they reverse the aging process with the skin, hair, and nails, and they help with anti-cancerogenic and help get rid of nuclear waste and help get rid of heavy metals. So that started way before Root, um, you know, my desire to really step into an industry to protect people. And, but Root came about because Clayton Thomas started the company uh, and I was the inventor of the products, but I was actually working somewhere else and they would not let me leave or they did not want me to leave. And in the United States, uh, sometimes that can be hard, you know, leaving a company and going to another mm. company. So he kind of started this without me. I'm very thankful he did. And then Ted and I actually jumped in about the same time. He was on the operational business marketing side. And I, of course, as the scientist and formulator of Root, this was a really important time for the company because the company actually started very small, but went from one country very quickly to 64, then 67 countries. And now we're even wow. growing more. And and the growth process, what was it, Ted? How quickly it was growing? Like hundreds of percent. 100, well, 200% a month. I mean, it was, and so Clayton was really running most of this by himself. He had a few people. So us stepping in was instrumental to the company. He did a fantastic job. I don't really know how he did it, but the mission of the three of us running the company is to promote health and wellness and greatness, as Clayton says, throughout the world and really spread uh, the mission of self-healing. And of course, my mission, individual mission is also to show love uh, while we're doing this and support people because I think emotional, mental, and psychological and spiritual health are as important as physical health. Yeah, exactly. Especially in nowadays world, we are bombarded with all kinds of toxins, heavy metals, environmental pollutants, and it's um, bad. It's very, very good when we have certain um, things which help us on our way. And this is also what brings us to the next question. My next question would be, um, so which one was the first product? So you started Root and which one created the first and then which products are now um, the, the Root is sharing? Right. Okay. So I would say all the formulas, I go back 20 years to 30 years of my life because I'd had a wow. brain tumor and I had helped myself self heal uh, because I did not want to have radiation and chemotherapy. I did not want to continue to have surgeries. I actually, if anyone ever looks above my right eye, I've got a zigzag because I actually had a pituitary tumor and then I had cancer behind this eye and they went in and they thought they were going to have to take out the eye. I still remember my mom crying and um, they didn't, you know, I, I ended up not having, I, I ended up going on this self healing journey of doing these greens and I selected greens that I researched that could stop the progression of tumors and cancer. And the doctors of course are like, this is not going to work and you have to have this surgery. But I was, I kept putting the surgery off. And when they went in to do the surgery in the pituitary gland of the brain, they noticed they couldn't find it. <laughs> so they, wow. they called, they didn't know why. And of course, in my mind, it was a combination of spiritually spending time, focusing on it, mentally, emotionally focusing on self-healing, getting stress out of my life, and then taking these greens and they just, these different products that I've researched. So it goes back years. I was in my, I think 25 when that happened and 25 and 26. So it goes back years. I started working on stuff, but then I was in the pharmaceutical industry and they were focused on mostly uh, vaccines, focused on mostly human monoclonal antibodies and cloning where I was working. And so I didn't get to do all of that there. 
with root in the products that are there now, even though they go back years, the current products, I would say, go back um, that we have about three years ago. Two years ago, though, has it been a year and a half since we stepped in? Yeah. About a year and a half ago, sorry. When we stepped in, I did change the clean slate formula, which is really the foundational formula. It was the one where at first I was the inventor of all the patents, and then I actually changed it because I wrote another patent where I could develop a product that started with a zeolite, but I took out a lot of the silica so that it could heal while you're while you're eradicating and i really don't like to use the word detox because i call it eradicate eradication while you're eradicating things out of the body you're also healing those that formula was changed about a year and a half ago two years ago and i'm very excited about that formula because during what's going on in this world that's a particular foundational product that a lot of people don't notice when they take it because it's really a safe remediation eradication process. I wanted a formula that would not be this drastic notice that people were really sick. Because a lot of times when you're eradicating or what some people call detoxifying things out, it, it's hard, right? So I wanted this simple process, again, that would also heal. So you're cleaning the inside while you're helping the body self-heal. And so that is really a foundational product for the company. I think it's very important. I think it's helped people all over because during what we're all going through, whether you've decided to get the shot or not, right? We're all different. We all have different opinions. Whether you've been exposed to the virus or not, or other viruses or bacteria, this is a foundational product um, that really helps people clean the inside so that your body, if it's under attack, can get better. And right now, I personally believe that we're all under multiple attacks because of what's going on in the community, uh, in our world. But Restore was the second product because I really, and I would say Restore and Zero In were like right there together. But for me, I really wanted a product. I had this vision. And at the time, Clayton was like, I don't understand this because I said, I need this product so if people can't get food or they can't get medicine that they have this product. And he asked me why, and I said, well, first of all, I travel all over the world and I need something I can take if I get sick. And it's funny, we always run out when we travel yeah. because we, we end up when you travel, you are attacked by all these things, so you need more of the product. Um, but I wanted something that could sustain people between, and I knew I was gonna produce the grains, which I'll get into in a second, because those grains were what, if you remember what I just said, went back that helped me, right? So I knew I was going to do these grains, but first I wanted to clean the body when it's under attack, and then I wanted to restore the body. So that's the second product, Restore, which has black cumin seed oil, resveratrol, turmeric, aloe vera. Um, it has apple cider vinegar, raspberry. And, and I want to say this, I took those ingredients from the root, and from the different husk and plants, and I actually did patents around that process as well. Um, I really, again, wanted to give people the nourishment they need, whether they were sick or not. But I did choose, just so you know, ingredients that helped fight viral attacks, bacterial attacks, parasite and fungus, and that were anti-cancerogenic. So I chose ingredients that were known to stop the progression of something that was cancer in the body. Not that I ever make that claim, but that's how I chose the ingredients and the process that I made. And then the third one was zero in because I, I believed, in, and actually Clayton brought me a product that he said, can you look at this? And at the time I had worked on two other nootropics and then a third that were very similar. I ended up combining really all three of those and came up with a formula that would help transmit through the body and communicate so these products would work better. So I actually think people need to understand when they get sick, if they're treating their body, I do think zero in is important because it helps the ingredients really go to the places it needs to go to throughout the body and it helps you perform and have the energy that you need, but it elevates the neural transmission. So, and I, I wanna make sure people know this, everyone's worried about 5G everyone's worried about cell phones and televisions and everything all around us, you really have to lower the transmission and the communication of those devices. And these three products help do that. And then the next thing you have to do is raise the communication of the good cells in the body. And that's again what these three cells do. do. Because when the pandemic started, I was told that 
it would not be something, and I, I knew about it before it, it happened uh, because I had done a lot of work in Asia. And so those doctors called me. Um, and so for me, I knew this was going to happen. And so for, for me, I needed these products that could really help protect people. I was told, and I also knew as a scientist, when a virus is launched, uh, you, you have the most people die during the first phase. However, if there's mutations, especially if the mutations are artificial, artificially made, those become stronger and stronger. So I knew that it wouldn't be for about two to three years before people's bodies were really going to be under continuous attacks from different mutations. And so it was really important to me to create different barriers. And then I brought in natural barrier support, which was the zinc, the vitamin D3, and um, the uh, vitamin C, which we knew would be another barrier and really help with the lungs and help with the body while it was fighting different colds and viruses. And then I brought in the Relive Greens, or we brought in the Relive Greens, which I thought was an important thing to bring in before another mutation of the different viruses were happening. And then the latest one is called Give Me Back My Youth. And it's another healer, kind of like a silica, because I, I used colostrum and collagen. It's very pure. Most people can't take collagen and colostrum alone or even in a drink because it's so strong. But that particular formula is very good, and it will be very um, healthy for people to take while, again, their bodies are going through these different things. And, and all of these products, if you go look at the patents that I write and the different uh, papers I write, are, again, anti-aging products. Amazing what you said. Thanks for sharing. And this is also very important for me, working from the inside to the outside and not in the other direction. It's very important to give the right things in our body. And also very important for me is to eliminate the causes of diseases. And um, I also do this through the right diet, through nu nu the nutrition program, through exercise, through rest and sleep. Of course, this will also make a huge um, difference that the products of, um, probably work um, better when we combine it with uh, the right lifestyle. So let's come to the next question. How do the products work? Um, what, is, um, what can people um, if, um, realize when they take the products? Can you um, say some kind of um, story from uh, people who took it and had uh, some kind of results with the products? Absolutely. Um, so the products work with different mechanisms of action. They work basically with blocking certain negative things in the body. That's one of the mechanisms of action that I actually put into the utility patents and in the process. So they're blocking, right? They're, they're blocking mechanisms. And that for me is pretty easy because my whole entire background was in developing and being involved in projects where we were doing that in the pharmaceutical biotech world. So from, from a nutraceutical world and with my education, that's, that's really typical to do with a product you make synthetically. But my goal, obviously, and what I've done is a natural process that will block things from coming in the body. And of course, things still get in, which is why when I added Give Me Back My Youth, it was really important because collagen and colostrum basically block the adhesion of a virus, parasite, fungus, or bacteria. And a lot of people don't know that, but if you do the research on it, you'll see that it actually causes like a sealant in it. And another thing that, that rips apart bad things are the clean slate. Uh, when I made that product, the goal was to go in to communicate with the body through a positive and negative charge through cages to basically rip things apart that shouldn't be in there and safely have them leave the body through either urine or excretion or saliva, sweat, tears, all that stuff. That was my goal. And so you have to, to know that a lot of products, especially in the zeolite space, uh, you know, one of the things I did was move it into more of a silica instead of a zeolite. It's it's about 66, almost 67 percent silica. And then I added the trace minerals and the vitamins. But, you know, my goal was to have it safely go out of the body and what needed to stay in the body to help itself heal. So that was the mechanism of action. But I would really say my biggest thing that I do, especially with some products, is to source them from certain places to tell the manufacturers how they need to make the products or to go in the lab and create them myself. And in today's world, you really don't have to do that except for with certain products. Um, but I, I really, the goal was to create products that would communicate to help the body self heal. 
um, and have and support the body so that again, I know I keep saying this, but you've got to get rid of the bad things and you've got to support the good things. Great, amazing. And what do you think? Um, do the products also influence um, the gut health and also um, do you to already talked about the ability to de de detoxification that it can support your body in regards to detoxification? Um, but do you also um, think it's very beneficial for gut health? Yes, I um, I actually, so give me back my youth um, is predominantly for gut health, but it also impact, impacts the heart and the brain because your collagen and colostrums really help with all the GI issues. Restore and Relive um, actually have prebiotics and probiotics in them uh, for gut health, but with the Relive grains, I added additional billions of uh, probiotics that were added into it with restore they're just naturally in there so the products absolutely help with gut health gut health is one of the most important things when you're treating people regardless of the autoimmune disorder regardless of the virus or bacteria great great to hear and are there already studies on all the aspects you mentioned there's case studies that we have on all of those there's even case studies we have with long covid are people that have had different shots wow. during this and how these products eliminated them. Predominantly, it's the first three products with Relive Greens added. Um, so it's the Zero In, Clean Slate, and um, Restore, and then some of them use Relive Greens. But we have many case studies on these different areas, yes. There's a third-party ISNS. Yeah, there's a third-party International Science Nutrition Society where we have doctors and healthcare providers like you that do case studies and report back. And some of them do blood work, some of them don't, some of them do quality of life. They all do the case studies differently, but we have a lot of those right now. Great. And um, do the products also eradicate bad things out of the, the brain and also the liver? Can this be possible? So we can't make claims when we're a nutraceutical company to pass the brain barrier, but the way I make the products is to communicate so that you can eradicate or get rid of those things in the body. Um, I, I do, like I said, I, I try not to use the word detoxify, even though I always go back to it because it's a form of it, but I, um, I really try to eradicate. What I mean by that is I try to completely get rid of what the toxins are in the body, including in the organs through communication. So when you go back to me mechanism of action of the trade secrets of how I made these products, it is in a way so that they can go in in a, in a basically micronized or nano sized way without using synthetics. I don't like to use the word nano sized uh, because then people go to a different thought process. I just like to let people know that these products are communicating with their body so they'll get rid of the bad things, and, and including in the liver and the brain. Without synthetics. I without synthetics. So. Everything's yeah. all natural. Everything's it's natural. Huge. Very good. So the next question would be um, what are the adv advantages in comparison to other detox programs? Um, there are uh, products, there are, for example, spirulina, wheatgrass powder, there's, for example, uh, cilantro you can take, um, zeolite um, as powder, you can also take chlorella for detoxifying or helping the body um, to get rid of bad things. But um, what makes the product so special in comparison to other products? Well, I think because of my background, my, most people in the nutraceutical supplement space, uh, you either have owners of manufacturing that just tell people to put stuff in a product, or you have, I, I hate to say this and I'm not being rude, you have people that are in development that read something on the internet and then they decide to make a product uh, and they just tell them what to do. You, you usually don't have scientists that have the background I have that actually understand um, and I'm, I'm not bragging about that. I went to school for a very long time, so I would understand how to make products. And then I worked for two major manufacturing um, facilities in this space as well for, for years. So I think what I did was, well, I know what I did was create products that um, combined different utility patents and mechanisms of actions and trade secrets, starting even with sourcing and raw materials so that it would help eradicate and detox. And I can tell you there's a lot of zeolite products out there. Ours is not a zeolite product. It starts with it, but then it also becomes a silica, which is why we wrote different patents around it or why I did. Um, and then we have chlorella. All those ingredients you just mentioned <laughs> and you asked me to compare those are in Relive Greens. 
uh, and a lot more. So there, so I don't talk enough about this. When I got the brain tumor and the cancer around my eye and everything, my goal was again to detox and I used grains to do it. At the time I sourced a zeolite, but it was a powder. The issue with zeolite powder is it absorbs things and it can take them out, but it's not as safe as a remediation and it's not able to communicate with the rest of the body. The problem with some of the zeolites that are synthetic that are out there that they say they're liposomes is in my opinion, those aren't healthy long-term for the body. The greens that I have, the Relive greens are in a very small jar. I don't think we have them here, but usually when you get greens, it's about the, that size, are, of this, it's about the size of this. Usually when you get greens, they're in this huge tub or protein, right? They're in this huge, huge tub. Because of what I have done as a scientist, I understand how to make sure it's made in a way that's in its purest form. So it can work in a micro way with the body. Uh, most of the things that are out there have a lot of fillers. They have a lot of things added and they kind of hype that up. But the problem is all those extra things are not good for the body. You need pure sourcing. As we yeah, register products in the cities or in the different countries, by the way, they're always astounded that our products are so clean Yeah. because normally as they register things, they're seeing all of the byproducts and all of the fillers that go into it. And when we come to the table and say, this is our ingredient list, this is what we are, this is how we add up to 100, they ask for where everything else is. Yeah. And we say mm -hmm. there is nothing else, this is all that is. So when you talk about chlorella and spirulina and all these other things, She's actually done an amazing job of taking the best of each of those things, adding it together to create one super, like supercharged um, gut health bomb. Really. Yeah, and we did GMO tracing and parent <clears throat> DNA GMO tracing on the plants. And they're used before they're sprouted. So they're gluten-free, wheat-free, even the barley and the wheatgrass. We made sure because plants have the gluten and the wheat when they sprout, right? And the seeds come out. So we made sure that they were sourced from the right ingredients and i would say 99.9 .9 of the, the products out there aren't doing that and and the labs get very frustrated with me i don't know uh ted's heard me they can i can get very frustrated with them too right because i i only want certain things i want them made a certain way and if they can't do it then we have to go somewhere else so it hasn't always been an easy process we we've run out of products uh we've grown so quickly and sourcing it Usually when you make a product, if it's generic, you can get it done in a week or two. But when you source things like this that are so hard to find in a certain way, you have to order them in advance. And sometimes we couldn't predict how many people were going to buy it. Yeah, that's why people talk about, you know, how do you get, you know, how do you justify your price or whatever? Well, we're putting the best quality ingredients from wherever in the world she has found it, putting them together to make them combine to this. So like, it's it's uh, the quality of the process is something that even the labs aren't accustomed to because again as dr ram had mentioned most people that are in this space are just saying like oh i hear that like spirulina is really great i don't mean this really they just want to make money yeah. so yeah. they don't they don't care and most people that are companies like ours they want the margins to be better so they want to keep costs down to very low and i don't know if ted knows when we first started i, I was telling him what the company I worked at before, what they, what the cost was, the issue we have here is I took a hard stance. I don't think it's an issue. I took a hard stance well, with, with Clayton, with quality <laughs> uh, in the beginning. And he came to me multiple times. The manufacturers came back to me multiple times and told me restore was not possible. I went to many places. They said, we can't make it. It can't be done. Doesn't matter how many times you come back and go into the lab. But we were able to finally get it done uh, after a lot of work, to be honest. That product took a lot of time. So anyway, not to get too much into it, but our products are vastly different, in my opinion. Even if you were to take another product that's in the same category and put it against ours, we, we note that our products are extremely less expensive when you look at the overall grand landscape of yeah, it. Yeah, because Relive Grains last two months. Yeah, as, as an example, we have something you know, longer, actually. Two to know. three months. Yeah. So the Relive Grains is in this small bottle. But it's because it's so micronized and because of how it was made, you can that bottle can last three months. And natural wow. barrier support is the same way. And I've had a lot of people question me on natural barrier support because there's so many different opinions on zinc, vitamin D3, and vitamin C. Um, but from, from my perspective, well, it wasn't my perspective. I needed a product that we could get out to all these different countries that everyone would kind of agree on. Um, my, 
Clayton actually loves natural berry support. He sat last night and drank a, <laughs> down a bunch of I put it. I in my smoothie this morning. Yeah. Every day. So um, I think the cost, and natural berry support lasts people three months, it's right? Two or three months. Yeah, two or three months. So if you go buy, buy a vitamin D or a vitamin C, or if, I mean, you're going to spend, you know, $29, $39 just for that. But yet in the natural barrier support, that bottle lasts three months and it has a very high quantity of each ingredient. And one of the reasons I, I did it again, the way I did it is that people could take varying, it's a powder. So you can take different amounts depending on the country that you're in or depending on if you're sick or depending on how you feel. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. That's great. This is also very important for me when I want to buy a product for me, it's it's always very important that it has high quality yes. and that it's um, min minimal ingredients, but the right ingredients, because I found out there are several products, uh, so many different products on the markets with when the ingredient list is so long and it's just <laughs> annoying uh, because there are so many bad things. Also sometimes like fillers, as you mentioned, and I, found, I, I think it's always the best to stick to um, little ingredients, but the right ones and the right combinations. And this is also what you, um, what you told us in the um, very good, yeah. Absolutely. So, do you think um, if nothing is else, nothing is changed in regards to the lifestyle? So, if a patient uh, don't changes their diet, doesn't uh, exercise regularly, and not sleeping enough, do you think the products still can help if they don't change anything at all and just um, take the products? <laughs> Yeah, of course, I don't prefer that to happen. <laughs> I prefer them to have a health coach or a nutritionist or a doctor or someone or or be motivated alone and, and learn things alone, whatever. I, I would like for everyone to be as healthy as they can. And that does mean you need to work out. You need to be uh, half sleep. You need to eat right. But, you know, I can't control that. None of us can with other people. And, you know, even I have people in my own family that don't take the time to do those things um, because they're so busy. Yes, my answer is 100 percent. Yes, they help people, whether you're doing those things or not. But you would be helped even more if you lived and had healthy practices in your life, like sleep, working out, nutrition, etc. However, even without that, these products absolutely, I believe, help people. Uh, in fact, I think they can help a lot. We have a lot of people that are very sick and can't live that way. They can't sleep, they can't work out, and we've been able to help people throughout the world. Wow, amazing. And I also talked to many different people and they all taught me very great things about the products in regard to their skin health, in regards to how they're feeling and their well-being, in regards to also gut health, that their digestion improves. And this is also um, my next point is because um, I talked to many people who felt incredible results from it, but I also talked to a few people like myself included who um, don't realize that much. So I'm now taking the products for about uh, four months and I'm really happy. I only see um, that, that they're good for my body, but I'm not seeing like significant, um, significant feeling better. And this is a question for me, what is, could be going on there? Well, so everybody's, I always say this, everybody has a body that's like a city. And that's how I always say it's either, you know, it's a city and every city is different. Like I live in Nashville, Tennessee, in the United States, you're in Germany. Um, we're all different. Every country is different. Every city, everybody's body is. So some people, when they are eradicating things and supporting their body, will not feel anything. Some people will, like we have a lot of people that will start um, clean slate that notice they are tired more at first or they sleep more or they have a rash or there's different things that happen because your body has been exposed to things your entire life. So the process of cleaning the body is a continuous process. The process of supporting the body is a continuous process. And um, people are going to get sick right now, unfortunately, because of all the mutations that are out there. And I I wanted to, I really want your audience to know this. There's not just one mutation out there. So when people say COVID-19, there's different variants. I worked with HIV for years. People had a lack of understanding and still do. They thought that there was, if you had HIV, you had HIV, right? That wasn't true. There was many variations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one A, two A. I mean, it went on and on, but only the scientists that really studied that understood it. Right now, what's happened and what would happen in that community is someone that had HIV would have a relationship with someone else that had a different mutation and get very sick. Right now, what's happening is there's certain, so many mutations out there in different countries of what's going on that people are being attacked. 
And sometimes they can be on these products, um, and I mean, we can testify to that and not get better right away because you get sick. But these products, whether you feel like they're working or not, are, are working. They are supporting the body. They are eradicating. Some people notice huge changes. Like we have people that take pictures of their skin and their hair. We have other people that get sick and they're like, why am I getting sick? Because I'm on these products. And my answer is always the same. These products are here to support your body and to be as good as they can be. We're going to get sick, right? People before they die get sick. People while they live their life get sick. It's like saying when you wake up in the morning, will anything bad happen today? Hopefully not, <laughs> right? But we all have good and bad days. We have good and bad things that happen. And our bodies are the same way. And everyone's body reacts differently. Now, when you, for example, I would assume that you're a pretty healthy person and that you've taken care of your body, um, you're probably not seeing drastic things. But what you're doing is you're supporting your body and its health and greatness. And due to the way I made these products, even though I don't want to make a claim, you can look at my patents as far as aging, right? Mm -hmm. So there's no way really you can go back and say, how would my body look and feel? How would I look and feel without these products? But you can pay attention to your body and into the healing process and know that you're putting ingredients in your body that are organic, gluten-free, mm -hmm. wheat-free, almost all of them except for the collagen are vegan and they're made in a completely natural way to support the health of the body. And then hopefully I'll do an even better job in the future showing research that backs that because there's thousands and tens of thousands of articles that back what I'm saying as far as what these ingredients do. Um, and I feel very confident giving these to people, knowing that we're giving them the ingredients that help them the best way possible. Also understanding there's other things out there that could help as well. I'm, I'm always open to that. Like when people say to me, are there any other products you would ever take? Y there's always different things I look at. I'm, I'm not so arrogant to think I have the only good products or only knowledge. I, I understand that. But I do stand behind and I'm very confident these are the products I give my children. These are the products that I give my parents. I just left my parents and my dad asked me to send him. He wants three packets of Restore a day. Like, okay, I've got that. <laughs> I don't think he understands how much that cost. It's okay, it's my dad. But it's um, my children. I was at my parents and three of my children, I had, had three of the four kids with me, all asked for more clean slate, more, well, they ask for zero in every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More, because they want to give it to their friends. More zero in, more restore, and more relive greens. So, all, especially the first three. My kids, my own children, I know this sounds odd, but usually your children, when you make something, they're the last people to believe in it. <laughs> so, because so they're your children. So it's so true. And, and they've noticed a significant difference. And I want to give you one more example. My son had a meniscus surgery. And I had made a version of Clean Slate that was not as strong as this one, because this is the best version. Uh, and the doctors, he was a rugby player in college at an SEC school. And he was an okay rugby player. He was on a scholarship. But after he tore his meniscus and his ACL, the doctor said he will never play rugby again. And he looked at him in front of me and said, I'm so sorry. There's no way you'll be able to play again. You've completely torn it. And my son went back that next year and was uh, second team, all, all team, what's it called? All American, all -American um, in, in rugby, in the SEC. And um, so he became one of the best players in the United States, you know, in college. And was his, his running and his, his, all the testing was just doubled. <laughs> it was kind of crazy. And then wow. I, I made him the grains during that to help him recover because I wanted to heal and I made him the collagen and the colostrum. And I also did a version um, of Restore for him during that time. Restore is better than the one I had at the time this happened. But, you know, he was the last person again that would believe in my products because he'd be like, mom, I'm just going to listen to the doctor. And that's what happened with my son. So I just wanted to use that as an example. Doctors don't always know best. <laughs> <laughs> Great, amazing. And but you would definitely say when you take the products and also together you change the lifestyle, so the diet, you change the yeah. the exercise program, the rest and sleep, the yeah. results were even much better. Much better. Like my son's 
like me or probably like you or Ted, he cares about his health. Like he was during this while he's taking my products. He also was sleeping, eating right. He's very healthy. He was paying attention to the body, making sure he followed. He, he hired a uh, fitness expert to help him. And they also had him at the school, you know, so. Yeah. yeah. The other thing is, of course, the products will also help you sleep better. It'll increase your REM sleep. Mm. So you're getting better rest period. All of these things are, you know, they all stack on top of one another. So it's not as if it's uh, one thing, you know, this will affect, it's a ripple effect. You throw the rock in the pond and the ripples go out. Yeah. And this is, this is our rock. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way of saying it. Yeah. Great. And would it be also possible if we overdose the products that there can be certain, um, certain um, effects occurring which are not so good or do you think they're always safe for each person? So we have people that take three to five restore a day. We have people that double relive grains when they get sick. We have people and that's that includes me. Um, we have people, I'll give you an example with clean slate and I don't advise anyone to do this. Uh, I might advise him right now to do it <laughs> but I will drink almost one fourth to one half of the bottle when I start feeling really bad um, because I know I've really got to get it out of my body. And I've got to, I, you know, I, I don't tell other people to do that, but I will say this. We have people that have been very sick that have either gotten the shot or they have the virus or they have an autoimmune disorder that have gone up higher. And a lot of the doctors that work with us, when, when people come to them and say, we're having a reaction to clean slate or we're having a reaction, they'll go up higher. That being said, I do believe, for example, you don't want to take 10 restore a day unless it was like an emergency. And yeah. um, I also believe with with zero in, it's so strong. I would not recommend for most people to go over four a day. I take one a day. Uh, mm -hmm. I do think when people are sick or they're having issues, they need to take a zero in in the morning. I also believe, because especially the more data that I'm, I'm seeing and the more people I'm talking to and, and, and how it's affecting them, and then the mechanism of action of that product. But I don't like people taking that product at like six, seven a day because I put pine bark and velvet vein and some other ingredients that if you get those up too high, they will make you feel very good. <laughs> euphoric almost and that's not the goal of those the goal of those are to make you healthier that's the goal talk mm. more about the doctors that add when they start to have some of the you know when when a, when a doctor gives it to a patient because we've been in conversations with doctors where yeah. we've heard them giving as an example clean slate they give them clean slate after a week or so they're having reactions yeah which is a part of the eradication process right and then what they do instead of backing it off they turn it up that's what I was telling yeah, it. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. talk about that because so, that's a very key uh, point that we, we, we rarely touch on that. Yeah. You know, a lot of the doctors will come to me and say they have patients um, that like they have a rash or they have a headache or they have a migraine when they're using clean slate or they're tired or, you know, something. And so they, they double the dosing or go up or triple it to get them through that. You know, it takes about two weeks. Um, but that's what most of our doctors that are treating patients are doing with the clean slate. Not that we've told them to do that. That's what they're doing and they're getting great results with that. Cause it's working. Yeah, it's working. It's working. I mean, yeah. it's the same thing as if you're working out every day and you see the results from doing a certain kind of bench press, you know, you don't stop doing the bench press, even though you're sore, you do the bench press more <laughs> because you're like, this is great, you know? So it's a, it's a similar, it's very simple, but we very rarely talk about that. People will often ask, oh, I, you know, I got a headache. Um, I was taking the product for two days and I got a headache. I'm like, well, you know, why was that? Were you, you know, were, were you coming, were you eradicating something like caffeine that you were accustomed to or what was happening in your body? The other thing that's really impressive that she's done is as it does eradicate these things, the other nutrients that you're putting into your body become more bioavailable to you because you don't have those mm -hmm. blockades. So yes. I think that there's, I mean, this is a, not a 30 minute talk or whatever we are. This is, this is, you know, this is decades of information yeah. that she's accumulated and then to spit it all out uh, and assume that we're going to get every answer is, is non, it's unthinkable. But so that's the other thing that's very impressive is, uh, using the products help that's why she stacks the products you start with a clean slate and then you add these other things because then you're getting all those nutrients from the greens you're getting all the help from the collagen and it all works together you have the brain health you have the gut health it all goes together so it's it's mm -hmm. hard to comprehend it took me quite some time to comprehend it but now that i do 
uh, that's why it's always so funny and so blessed to be a part of it because you see the changes happening in people daily and it really, really is, it's a, it is really a revolution. We, we get a lot of text, a lot of WhatsApps, a lot of emails of people that it's helping. So we get to see it, and then we get to see the case study. So we, we're an advantage because we're exposed to 67 countries where they're getting so many results. And, and he's right. I would love to share. Hopefully we'll talk more and I can share more of it. We, we've had fantastic results and fantastic research behind the products. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. I also see the point that sometimes it can be for some people in short periods uncomfortable. For example, when there's a certain healing crisis, something is coming to the surface. And this is also what I realized on the healing journey. It can be sometimes a little bit challenging, but it's not against ourselves. Our body's working in our favor and it wants to help yeah. us to get us in harmony. Exactly. It's like a major change in the body for some people. So it's not comfortable at first. You probably didn't have to go through so, through so many changes because you had done a lot of the process through different things in your life. But we've also seen people that are very healthy that have seen uh, they're uncomfortable at first, you know, during these changes and then they start feeling better. And I would say to really, and I'm sure you know this, when you regenerate the body, you're looking at a 30, 60, 90 day period, but really it can take nine months to two years to really start seeing the process of a change because you go through years yeah. of your body being one way. So it takes years sometimes yeah. to reverse it. Yeah. Yeah, we can't expect to um, put do all the work um, in a very short time when we abused our body for decades sometimes for people. And this definitely ne ne needs some time to completely heal. Absolutely. So, and um, regarding the optimal dosage for the most people who are going into this um, on their own, we don't uh, ha have a doctor. Um, what would you recommend? Would you just recommend the uh, dosage which is, which is prescribed on the products or do you can sometimes even take more? Yes, so with zero, I mean with clean slate, I recommend starting with two to three drops in the morning, two to three drops at night, going up to 10 in the morning and 10 at night with lots of water. But some people do 10 in the morning, 10 at lunch, 10 at night because they're going through different things. So they do more than what we suggest. And some people even go up to 50 drops. Um, with the Restore, you know, we recommend one a day or a half a packet a day, depending on uh, what you wanna take and what you can afford, because I'm always cognizant of people and what they have and what they're able to buy. Um, but, you know, Restore and Relive Grains could be meal replacements, and they're actually cheaper than going to buy a meal, and they're healthier for your body. So with Restore, I can tell you some people go up, like I said, to five a day. Um, but we have quite a few people that are sick that are trying to get better, that are going through autoimmune disorders or cancer that are taking three a day. Um, mm -hmm. Then with the zero in, like I said, I do not recommend more than four a day. And I think if you're going to take four, you should start with two in the morning and two at lunch. However, there's a lot of people that take them at night and they love it. Ted mm -hmm. and I are not two of those people, We're but not. some people swear they love it. You know, we have that. people in the office that will take a zero in before to they sleep. go to bed and they sleep. They say that they sleep right on time, wow. right to sleep, heavy dreaming, all of these things. So again, it goes back to like everybody is unique. You know, all of these things are really interesting because each of us are our own. I still own. don't think people should take one. Yeah. Before. Well, we yeah we don't we don't recommend that. We have dosage on the website that you can see, so we label that very clearly. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, uh, again, you know, it's like Coca Cola. You say don't drink more than one Coke a day, but you know, there's people out there that'll drink <laughs> a whole six pack or yeah, yeah. <laughs> or two or a case of it in one day because they're like, I was just thirsty. So, but relive grains and the collagen, I can't wait till you try that. Give me back my youth. It's amazing and it's needed. Yeah. He was, I, I like Ted has not felt his perfect self lately. So, I wanted him to take more of the give me back my youth and relive grains, uh, more of the restore. So, when you're going through things, I think it's okay to, get, to take more. But if you ask me, should someone take half a bottle of relive grains that last two to three months i i wouldn't normally recommend that <laughs> do you know what i mean as a business model we would appreciate we that. would love it but, but as a scientist i would not recommend it's not, it yeah, it's not yeah I, I can understand and what about kids elderly people and also pregnant do you have to be yeah. cautious here or it's just a normal dosage well so everything i've made um is a natural ingredient that you can naturally you know so 
You know, I just, I just have to respond to a friend that's getting ready to have surgery that has breast cancer and she's been taking the products and feels phenomenal. And her doctor said, don't take anything a week before surgery. She asked me and I said, well, you, I can't go against your doctor, but I said with spirulina, like with the greens, they, uh, and with restore, they basically help with blood and clotting, but before surgery, you don't want to change anything in the body that could interfere with anything that's happening. So I told her 24 to 48 hours before the surgery. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't take that, but she could take it right after. Um, and that's because I just don't want anything interfere. I don't know all the medication the doctor is giving her. I don't know. But 99% of the ingredients that are in these products, there's no interaction. In fact, zeolites are a catalyst that are often used along with other pharmaceutical products because they don't interfere with the mechanism of action. And that's clean slate. And then... Um, the um, all the products I believe can be taken by a pregnant person or someone that's breastfeeding, but you have to be cautious. Like if you start, if you just got pregnant and you started drinking half a bottle of clean slate, yeah. I wouldn't want that. I don't want people. People have to be cautious when they're pregnant. People have to be cautious with babies. And most babies, I say, when they're ready to eat, then they're ready for uh, restore and relive grains. And then another thing I tell people is, you know, the collagen and colostrum that give me back my youth, we almost pulled it because we have a shortage in the United States of baby formula. So it could technically be a baby formula because it's from non-GMO uh, um, animals that have not been eaten GMO or wheat or any of the things that could interfere with a baby. They're all organically sourced from these animals colostrum is almost impossible to find right now so the fact that we have it um it would be very good for babies but we didn't launch it as a baby formula because we decided to launch it in the root community for everyone so again with children you just have to either lower it like we have children that have autism and adhd adhd that are under a doctor's supervision and the doctors are taking the, the zero in and doing the capsule and giving them half and starting there, and they're seeing phenomenal results with them as well. We have a doctor, Tina uh, Bosnick, who's in Slovenia. Bosnick, I can't say. <laughs> this in Slovenia that has lots of case studies on that. Great, and um, thank, thank you very much for sharing this point. This was very interesting. And now, where do you see Root in the future? So where, what are the goals, um, the plans for the next five years? Well, I was told I had to be careful how I answered this, and uh, Clayton just walked in. Ted's right beside me, and the three of us strategically are trying to plan the future. Um, we have a lot of products to launch. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a lot of companies we're going, our countries, sorry, we're going into in the Middle East and in Asia um, and in Africa, South Africa that we're working on right now. So the expansion in the company, um, I, I think I'll let Ted answer this because they don't like me answering it because I've created products and they... She can create a product much faster than we can launch and market it and put it out. And we have such amazing results from when we do launch something that there needs to be time between things. She's worked for, I don't even want to say how many years she's worked because you'd never know how old she is by looking at her, but she's worked for 150 years on products. <laughs> She's about 180 years old and she's she's worked for for years to develop a, a a list of things. And there's so much in her head and she's got so many patents and so many binders. And if I were to say tomorrow I need a product for. I don't know anything, whatever it might be, I need a product to help with whatever she would probably say, oh, I have a pro I have a product for that. I wrote a patent on that. I've never published so. We have a number of things we're launching within the Root Brands community. We have some things we're launching outside of the Root Brands community through Dr. Rom. Um, uh, right now, our focus is on health and wellness. Um, we have we're going to different countries right now. We're in the midst of opening up, you know, Japan, which we're not. We don't have a heavy presence in Japan, but we're opening up a, you know, a whole Ghana. system in, in Japan. Turkey. Finalizing registrations in Ghana, in Turkey, all of these other places. So. The brand is expanding much faster than we as humans are able to accommodate. Um, but in the next five years, I mean, to the moon. The next five years, I think we will be also environmentally helping people. You know, my goal was really when, when I met Clayton, I was very clear that my goal was environmental. 
but they needed a project for, for professional athletes is why I was brought in for the NBA and the NFL. They needed stuff that would help them heal their bodies. And so that's how I met Clayton. And, um, but I was, and in the patents, I was very clear. Environmental was a huge target for me, but you can't impact the environment until you clean people up first. That was my opinion. You've got, it's overwhelming how many heavy metals we have in our world. It's overwhelming how they're, they're communicated in the body from the mother to the child. It used to be 30%. Now it's up to 70% of the heavy metals go to the child. And so my first goal was to help people. And I'm so glad this was the goal because we didn't anticipate launching a company the same month that COVID was announced, <laughs> you know? And so unfortunate, fortunate. unfortunately, I mean, and then, but fortunately we did, we've been able to help a lot of people. And, uh, but I do, I've never, when I write stuff, if you ever go to my LinkedIn, if you look at what I'm doing, I never stop thinking about the environment because if you can get rid of heavy metals in the land, air, and water up to the stratosphere, which is what I wrote in the initial patents, uh, then you're able to impact everyone throughout the world because they're not being exposed to all these, all these things. Unfortunately, all the nuclear bombs, all the nuclear waste, all the radiation, all the 5G, everything in our environment is here and it goes to the stratosphere. It's not being ripped apart. It's accumulating. So we are around trash all day. So we have to start with our own bodies and know, okay, there's trash all around us. We can't ignore our bodies. Your body is the only body you will have. So take care of it. And then after we get through this process, we do want to help with animals and help with the environment, help with skin, but that's up to them what we will launch because I, I'm really on the science side. They have to rein me in on the business side. <laughs> Dr. Rahm is actually on the science as well as the creative side. She's launching side projects right now um, with that have to do with fashion and art. I mean, obviously she's, you know, she's interested in a lot of different things. I always say that, you know, if you want to see Dr. Rahm really happy, put her in front of a, a dog, a child, and give her some science stuff to play with. But, but I do also like she art. Loves the, I mean, she loves art. She loves music. Um, she's been in the music industry in the past. I did she... patents around a clothing line that gets rid of nuclear waste and heavy metal. So instead of UV, it protects you from the 5G. And if they would let me launch it, I would. But everything <laughs> in due time. So considering it, there's a lot happening in, in our she headquarters. And, and, and it's, it's an endless again to the moon. It's only a matter of how much time we have. There's not enough time in the day right now. There's All not. of us, like we, we've kind of reached our limit. We've grown so fast that we're going to go back and strategize. How can we help the most people? But I did create the fashion brand because I needed a little bit of break from the seriousness. And because I do know that we will launch this clothing brand. And right now with all the 5G and all the uh, viruses and heavy metal, I feel like it's something that's very important. We just haven't had the time to do that part yet. Yeah, she's got great style and she likes to shop. So there's that too. There's that too. <laughs> they give me 15 minutes when I go to a country. You've got 15 minutes. Sometimes I take 30. She finds it though. She's, she's never, she never fails us. I'm good at it. There's a lot of great places in Germany I've been to. Yes. You've gone to some of them with me. I know. <laughs> I like thrift stop shops too. I don't just like like high end. I really like things that are unique and different um, because I think that's what's great about life is when things are unique and different. We don't all want to be cookie cutter the same. So, Awesome. Thanks for sharing. That sounds really, really good. Your plans. I'm looking forward and I'm excited how it will all develop. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for answering all my questions. It was a pleasure talking to you and um, do you have any last thing you would like to say here on this channel? I would just like to tell people that I hope they have an amazing day and I, ho I hope they have an amazing year. I know it's a, a year full of uh, anxiety for a lot of people. Uh, thankfully, they have people like you that are helping coach them and helping them with nutrition. I don't want people to lose hope because we're going to have an amazing future as human beings. We just have to get through this whole reset where things are changing and that's okay. Our bodies will be even stronger. Um, but I'm very thankful for the time that you've given me today. I'm very thankful for all of us being able to be in Germany because Germany is our strongest market. I think it's right an extremely strong market and where my grandfather came from. So my grandfather came over when he was eight my, is Rom. He, they were actually from the Middle East and then went to Germany and then came over to the United States. And, um, 
I always looked up to him. He, he ended up being an orphan and then ended up um, getting a scholarship, being an All-American football player, and then going to Vanderbilt to get his master's, an incredible human being. And I think between him and my mother, who was Indian, they, they were the ones that really gave me the science background. And um, so I love the fact that Germany, you know, where my, my grandfather came from, he was one of my favorite people in my life until he died. Um, I love the fact that that's our strongest market. Amazing. And it was very interesting for me, this interview now, all the questions, you answered them so detailed. And I also think it was surely uh, pretty valuable for all the um, um, former audience. And if you're also interested in the products, you want to get them, there's also a link down below in the in the uh, info box. You can also try them yourself. And yeah, I wish you lots of success on your journey. I'm really um, also um, curious how everything will go. And we wish you all an amazing day, guys, and see you soon. Bye. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye.